Welcome to New Student Advising, Part 4 of 5. In this video, we will go over some student success tools, campus resources, and support programs that can help you succeed at Edmonds Community College. Let's go over some key tools and resources you'll need to be familiar with as a new student. We discussed Triton Connect in detail during Part 3, but remember that you'll use it to communicate with resources on campus, including faculty and academic advising. Canvas is our online learning platform. If you take an online or hybrid class, you will use Canvas as a digital classroom. Faculty may also wish to post things like their syllabus on Canvas for easy access. Let's look at the other tools and resources a little more in depth. The GATE system is used by the Credentials and Evaluation Office. As a new student, you may have credit from another school you have attended. To transfer that credit to Edmonds, you should submit your official transcripts and do a GATE request for transfer evaluation. All you need to log in is your student ID and PIN number. Later in your academic career, you may use GATE for things like submitting a course repeat request, challenging a grade, or submitting a graduation application. Our Edmail account is your community, Edmonds Community College student email. You will be able to set it up about 48 hours after you have registered for your first class. Due to the Family Educational Right to Privacy Act, or FERPA, it is illegal for Edmonds to communicate sensitive student information to any person other than the student unless a waiver is on file. For this reason, we will not communicate information like address, phone number, grades, and academic performance through third-party email servers. It is extremely important that you regularly check your Edmail. It is how everyone on campus, from faculty to student services to student life, will communicate. Edmail can be accessed through the Student tab on the main website or from the MyEDCC tab in the upper right corner. As a student on campus, it is important to have an EdPass and a parking permit if you intend to drive. You can pick up your EdPass one to two weeks before classes start, as long as you've registered for classes that quarter. The EdPass office is located in Linwood Hall, room 214. Your EdPass functions as a library card, printing copy machine card, and a campus cash card. You can also use your EdPass as an ORCA card at a reduced student price for public transit. Your EdPass is required to access gymnasium facilities and acts as your proof of identification on campus. If you intend to commute to campus, you should also get a parking permit. The permit allows you to park in student lots during daytime hours. Parking permits are available in the EdPass office or at the cashier's desk or enrollment services desk in the first floor of Linwood Hall. Parking on campus is very limited. Be sure to give yourself enough time to find a spot and walk a short distance to your destination. Most of our students are balancing school, work, families, and other commitments, and may face unique challenges. We strive to offer support to all students and provide you with a community of learners and services who can help you reach your goals. Our Center for Student Cultural Diversity and Inclusion connects and supports students from marginalized groups. Our SSD office ensures that the college experience at Edmonds is accessible and usable by students with disabilities. Our TRIO office is a valuable resource to support the success and progress of low-income, first-generation college students and students with disabilities. Our Veterans Resource Center is available to students who have served in the military or are dependent of someone who has served. They can help you with VA education benefits and provide a great community space. If you need childcare while you are at school, you can sign up for the Center for Families right on campus. Students are eligible for a discounted rate at the Center for Families. Our Foster the Dream program promotes the educational achievement of current and former foster youth. 
Lastly, all students who need emergency monetary assistance can apply for emergency funds or scholarships through our Edmonds Community College Foundation. Please be aware, some of the programs listed here have specific admittance criteria. Students can work with an advisor or a program directly to get connected or read more about them in our student resource guide, which is available online. Here at Edmonds, we want to see you succeed inside and outside of the classroom. We offer a number of support programs to assist you academically. Academic advising can help you plan your pathway, choose classes, and transition to university. The Learning Support Center houses our tutoring and writing centers. The START office can assist students with technology questions relating to Edmail, Canvas, and Google Apps. The STEM study room, along with MESA and RISE programs, are focused on students pursuing a STEM or healthcare field or taking courses in those fields. We also have an honors program on campus for students who desire to further their intellectual and academic pursuits. It is important to note that some of these programs also have special admittance criteria. You can read more about the programs in our student resource guide available online. Emotional and mental health are just as important to success as academic work. We offer several programs that are here to help you process stress, manage life changes, and deal with dangerous situations. Our Wellness Center is a safe space for students in our campus to relax, inquire about topics related to health and wellness, and receive referrals to other resources. If you are dealing with personal issues that may impact your success as a student, the Counseling and Resource Center offers free, confidential, and professional counseling services, resources, and referrals. The Violence Prevention Program consists of a coordinated community response team at Edmonds Community College and in the community in order to respond to and ultimately reduce sexual assault, dating domestic violence, and stalking, also known as interpersonal violence. More information is available in our student resource guide. Our Center for Student Engagement and Leadership, or CECL, houses the student-sponsored programs and services. They provide students with leadership opportunity and chances to get involved on campus, including student programs, service learning, student government, and clubs. We have clubs on campus for a variety of interests, from badminton to bees to robotics. Can't find a club that interests you? Start your own. We also offer intramural athletics throughout the quarter. They offer students a chance to participate in co-recreational sports individually or on a team. Prefer to cheer from the sidelines? Come support any of our NWCA athletic teams and show off your Triton pride. There are many ways that the Edmonds Community College campus can support you. Our presentation here is by no means exhaustive. So please reach out if you need assistance with anything. We're happy to get you connected. This concludes our new student advising videos. Thank you for watching. To fully complete new student advising, please complete the steps above. NSA is mandatory, so you must complete the notice of completion through the link on the NSA webpage. We hope you have a great first quarter and welcome to Edmonds Community College.